Today we're surviving the cold to bring you Tom Eggleston. This episode of REO Success TV is brought to you by Press Press. Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of REO Success TV. My name is Chris Evans and I am your host of the show. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Now, you might be wondering, why in the world is Chris dressed like he's going to Alaska? Well, there's two simple reasons for that. One, it's because I'm a winner. Yeah, big time wuss. Chris is a wussy, a really big sissy man. I would, I would confirm that, yes. Such a sissy. Chris is a wussy. Reason number two is because Right after we shoot this, I'm heading out the door and we're going to the mountains, taking the kids apple picking, which we're very excited about. So by the time you see this video, I will have stuff in my face full of apples, apple cider, apple donuts, apple kebabs, anything and everything apples. This week we have Tom Eggleston. Now Tom was a CEO of one of the largest home builders in the country. Um, now he's a consultant for Fannie Mae HUD and he's a guy who's on the ground and he's telling them what's going on with the industry. So he has a very, very important role that he plays in giving information to those entities. We're standing here with Mr. Tom Eggleston. He is this, was the former CEO of one of the largest home builders in the country. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. So Tom, we, we were kind of in a round table and we were talking about the industry and the trends of the industry which you follow. Um, tell us a little bit, one, about where the industry has been, where it's at, and where you guys see it's going. Until October 2008, there was a relative equilibrium between the number of REOs being created and those being sold, and the system worked pretty smoothly. Then a moratorium at the end of the Bush administration was followed by this period of mortgage modification, and REO sales dramatically dropped, less than a third of the former pace. So now we're struggling with the backlog as this shadow inventory of foreclosures has still not come to the market and has left great uncertainty for everyone involved. So you consult with some very important people and entities, the Fed and HUD. Um, you're on the ground level and you can kind of give them inside information of what's happening out there. Um, what are some of the things and conversations that are happening with them and what are you telling them about the industry and where things are at? It's a time for creative solutions. The housing crisis brought the global economic crisis, and now the housing industry is viewed as a way out of the global crisis. So it's a place to be creative, and that's really our role. Because of the scale of Benham REO, and that we operate nationally and in every market, we're viewed as the on-the-ground experts. So we're thrilled to be brought into these high-level policy conversations where they bring recommendations to us and say, is it practical? Can you implement it? And that we think is a constructive role. So what recommendation advice would you have for REO brokers out there who are kind of on the fringe? They're, you know, they, they're not sure what's happening in the industry. Everybody's asking questions, what's going on? Um, what can they do to put themselves in a better position to provide great service for, for their clients? There will come a time we'll return to the equilibrium of 2008. And how we get there is still uncertain. But if I was an REO broker viewing the market today, I would find a disciplined system and work that process so that I was very efficient and productive and worry less about when the volume will return. It has to. The single asset sale is still the highest yield for a bank or an asset management firm compared to any other method of transferring these properties. So ultimately, the REO broker is going to be the solution. Sure is cold out here. She thinks my trend is sexy. Hello? Hey, is this Billy? Yeah, this is Billy Bob. Hey, Billy. Uh, I'm doing great, sir. How are you? Why are you whispering? Uh, I'm not whispering. Uh, okay. Um, well, I've got an REO property in your area, and I need to assign it to someone. Did you say an REO property, sir? Yeah, REO property. My very own REO listing? Yes. Well, so 
really good to talk to you. Billy, what's your experience in the industry? Well, yeah, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of brokers on these parts that are very jealous about me. Because in 2009, I had two whole REO listings. Okay, um, well, I need to get a CFK done in the next 24 hours. Can you do that for me? Let me check my schedule. Uh, Thursday, no. Best I can do is Friday. Wow, by, by the end of the week. Is there any, any possible way you can do it sooner? Uh, well, I guess I can move something around on Thursday for you. Okay. Are you on Equator, Billy? Uh, of course I'm on Equator. Equator. No, no, Equator. I know what it's called. That's where I had my two audio listings in 2009. All right. Well, when you get the CFK done, please um, just let me know. Well, thank you, audio boss man. Have a good day now. Wow. This is going to be a brutal relationship. Thank you, good lord. I think this is the start of a beautiful relationship. That's this week's episode. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us. We would love to hear your feedback. Send us an email, chris at ariosuccess.tv. And also share this with everybody you know. You know, We really want to build a, a great community here. And if you're not on our email list to get updates of these videos and other content that we put out, go to ariosuccess.tv and put your email box, put your email in the email box. And remember, every time somebody subscribes to our newsletter list, an angel gets its wings.